So now I'm here with Ross from Alienware, and he's going to talk to us about some of the new things that are being released with this uh, something you announced at E3. Uh, so first of all, the X51, it's uh, it's not a new product, but you guys have done some uh, upgrades to it. So tell us about the Alienware X51 and exactly where does it fit within the whole gaming PC slash console market? Yeah, the X51, we we originally released it back of January 2012, um, but this year we upgraded it with the latest Ivy Bridge processors as well as um, next generation NVIDIA GeForce graphics cards, so we've got the 700 series graphics cards in place now. The system, we like to call it a console size gaming PC. Um, it's just a little bit larger than your older Xboxes. It's made to either be set up on a desktop or placed into a living room next to a TV and it has an aesthetic to match that so that it doesn't stand out in a living room either. Um, we've been able to pack a ton of power into this, game, into this system. So if you get the base configuration, you're going to be able to play your games at 30 frames per second, and it's only $699 price point, which is the lowest price point that you can start at with an Alienware. Yeah. Um, and then if you want to configure up the system to over $1,000, you're going to be able to have 1080p gaming on your big screen TV at over 60 frames per second. And that's what we really designed the system to do. And the system's fully upgradable as new graphics and new processing systems and technologies come out every year you can upgrade the system it's made with full desktop parts and so you can continually stay on the edge of performance and outpace those console games right so in terms of the 699 base price for the x51 stock model so the, that's featuring the i3 8 gigs of ram yeah one it's terabyte it's featuring an i3, 8 gigs of RAM, a 1 terabyte hard drive, and a GTX 645 graphics card at the base. Right. And how is that comparable? Um, as well as a slot loading DVD drive as well. Right. And how is that comparable to the next gen consoles like the PS4 um, in terms of uh, performance? So that will be on par with next gen consoles in terms of performance. You'll still be able to play 1080p graphics and you'll still have over 30 frames per second on those games. Um, if you want to outpace those next gen consoles, I would recommend upgrading to either an 899 or a 1099 config. Right. Um, so in this roundtable discussion, you guys brought up the idea of you guys are working with game developers and a custom API that allows the game to interact with the color options on your Alienware machine. So can you tell us about what's going on? How yeah. many titles are in the development and things like that? So we call the technology Alien FX. And each one of our systems has between three and eight different lighting zones that you can control on the computer. Yeah. All of those are controlled via an API which we give to game developers. So the game developers can program that API into their game so that the lighting on your system can change depending on what's going on in game. So in Battlefield 3 as an example, when you're getting shot at, your system will flash red at you to tell you that you're losing health and that you need to do something, right? Um, We've worked with you know, EA and Battlefield 3, that's a huge title. We worked with a lot of smaller titles as well. Um, we have over 50 games currently within our portfolio that support Alien FX, and we're continually looking to onboard new developers, whether it's game developers or other software as well. Right. And so you announced a few machines at E3, and now they're finally making their way into Canada. So tell us about the the, the big, I guess, the, the Monster Notebook. Yeah, so, the Monster Notebook is the Alienware 18. It is an 18-inch gaming laptop. It comes standard with dual graphics card configurations in the NVIDIA SLI. It has a 1080p IPS screen at its base. Um, so you're going to get better viewing angles with that type of screen, and it's going to have better brightness than you would if you were going to get um, another type of screen, right, an LED. The so, system starts with i7 processors and 8 gigs of RAM. If you configure up the system, you can get up to three different hard drives that fit within it, and you can also get overclocked processors as well. Um, you can get it either factory overclocked, where we overclock it and send it straight to you, or you can choose to overclock the system yourself if you prefer. So what are the advantages of people going with an Alienware versus building something themselves? Uh, when you get looking into a desktop, the Alienware X51, the small form factor of this system, is going to be very hard to construct on your own as well, mm -hmm. though I think there are a few options out there where people have tried to really get into that, but you might be pinching your fingers a little bit inside the tiny case. Um, but when it comes to gaming in general, you know, 
if you want to build your own system, go for it. We fully support it. We understand that that's a big part of what makes PC gaming so cool. Um, but an Alienware system is going to come to you out of the box. It's going to work. You're going to know all of those components have been tested to be fully compatible with each other, deliver a high level of performance, and if you ever have any problems, we're there with warranty and support that can help you out. All right. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So, guys, this is a wrap. It's been uh, sort of a cool event talking about uh, the future of gaming, talking to Rick Lucas and a bunch of guys from Alienware. Um, right right behind me it's really cool the 4k gameplay of the latest batman game which is uh, quite amazing to see in such high resolution form a monitor that has not yet been released i'm not allowed to give you any more information about it but it's uh, definitely a technology that's uh, making its way into the consumer world and becoming more accessible so uh, again thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in next video